Rush Hour is a popular buddy cop movie with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. They play mismatched cops who gradually become friends. Rush Hour spawned two sequels and a stroll of TV show that I skipped. I seen the trailers, they sucked. Sure enough, the show got, got cancelled after the first eight episodes. Rush Hour is 20 years old now, so I'm going to rank the trilogy from worst to best. Let's dive in. Coming in last place is Rush Hour 3. I guess everyone agrees it's the weakest. It's not bad, it's okay. I initially thought it was good because I wasn't judging it, plus I had an overlapping phase from 2007 to 2013. Hot Fuzz gave me that phase. It came out a few months before Rush Hour 3. Hot Fuzz came out in April and Rush Hour 3 came out in August. Carter is honestly a dick here. I know he started off as a dick, but he wasn't written correctly here. If I'm not mistaken, the same guy wrote all three movies. Carter threatens to shoot a triad member and a taxi driver simply because they were being racist. Carter is still a ladies man. He hits on a few ladies. I'm not saying Carter's annoying here. He's so funny. Kenji is a villain. He's Japanese, but he's somehow a triad leader. I don't think any triad hires Japanese people. Maybe some do. Kenji is bland. He has no personality. I might as well say Steven Seagal and Jean-Claude Van Damme were offered the role. As far as I know, Chan and Seagal are friends. I don't think they would have made the role any better. Rush Hour 3 takes place in Los Angeles and Paris mostly. Lee and Carter travel to Paris to investigate the attempt on the Chinese consul's life. The plot is weak. It quickly moves from action scene to action scene to a few exposition scenes. The action is fun but the dojo fight scene was forced. There are a couple of silly twists. In fact, the second one was so forgettable. Coming in second place is Rush Hour 2. I guess it's a big favorite because it's the biggest hit. Rush Hour 2 is the first one I seen. I was 14. My dad rented it once and he bought it after a while. Yeah, I'm talking about VHS. Rush Hour 2 takes place in three cities. Hong Kong, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas. Hong Kong is a primary location. Carter is on vacation, but Lee is still working. When the movie begins, Lee accepts a bombing case. The American Embassy got blown up, killing two American translators. Ricky Tan is a villain. He's a triad leader. He and Lee knew each other for a while. I'm not going to say why because of spoilers. Who Lee is Ricky's lieutenant or lackey, I suppose. She's a sadist. She barely speaks English because the actress didn't know English then. She and Carter quickly become enemies. Carter's love interest, Isabella, is a double agent. You're, you're not sure who she's working for. Don Cheadle has an uncredited cameo. I guess he was paying Brett Ratner a huge favor because they worked together on The Family Man, which I didn't like, but whatever. He plays Kenny, Carter's informant. He owns a Chinese restaurant, which is an underground gambling den. He isn't funny. His purpose is to give the characters some information and to react to Carter's big mouth, which is why that scene is hilarious. The Rush Hour movies have blooper reels. Tucker can't say get filled a fish, so that scene was cut, but in Rush Hour 3, when they were flying to Paris, C Carter actually orders the get filled a fish. Coming in first place is Rush Hour, my favorite. I understand why some prefer Rush Hour 2. Brett Ratner directed all three movies. His first movie was Money Talks with Chris Tucker and Charlie Sheen. It was good, I suppose. His latest movie was Hercules with Dwayne Johnson. It was fine. Rush Hour takes place in Los Angeles. The Chinese consul's daughter was kidnapped for ransom, so Lee travels to LA and he meets Carter, who's assigned to watch over him. Lee pretends he doesn't speak English, so they hit each other for a little while. Yeah, Lee is a fish out of water. He actually gets in trouble for saying the N-word. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Carter is arrogant for most of the movie. He is arrogant and selfish. But the case humbles him, so he apologizes to Johnson, an ex-lover he's trying to r r reconcile with. I mean, he flirts with her a few times. You could say Carter never stops being a dick. He has a few dickish moments in Rush Hour 2. Sane is a villain. He is another triad leader. He has blonde hair. I can't think of another Asian with blonde hair, male or female. He and Carter quickly become enemies. He is annoyed by Carter's big mouth. 
thanks as always for watching guys my twitter link is down below let me know how you rank the rush hour trilogy last february chris tucker told the media he's optimistic in rush hour 4 stay tuned for my kobakai season 1 review i'll talk to you later alrighty then